Welcome to Tasmania. With today's video, I am continuing the video series of 130 things to do in Tasmania. I have already uploaded the first two videos covering over 70 things to do in the southern part of Tasmania and East Coast. If you haven't watched them yet, go check them out. This will be the last video of this series. Before we begin, subscribe to my channel for more travel content. In this video, I will list down everything to do in the west side of Tasmania and the northern Tasmania. Let's start from 41 degrees south salmon and ginseng farm. 41 degrees south Tasmania grows and develops products for both Korean and American ginseng. A 45 minute drive from Launceston to Devonport brings you to the salmon farm, ginseng nursery and wetlands near Delorin. This is a family owned business with a small cafe and private waterfall. You can take a self-guided walking tour and feed salmon on the farm. Ashgrove Cheese Farm and Cafe. This is one of the finest cheese experience you can get in Tasmania. They offer cheese tasting plates and take home products, breakfast and lunch. If you are interested to see how cheese is made, you can see the factory in action behind the glass window during weekdays. Bar Strait Museum Centre, a significant landmark near Devonport River with a museum devoted to local maritime history. This features maps, prints, interactive displays of history of Bastrait, European settlement and a computerized sailing simulator which gives visitors a chance to test their sailing skills. Batman Bridge. This is an iconic bridge that carries the Batman Highway across the Tama River in northern Tasmania. This was Australia's first cable stayed bridge. Beaconfield Mine and Heritage Centre. Located in Beaconfield, Tasmania, the Heritage Centre offers history about Beaconfield Mine Rescue and a replica of the underground mining environment. It is located in one of the sites of 2006 mine disaster, but now a mine and heritage museum. Burny Little Penguin and Penguin Observation Centre. Volunteers provide a free penguin observation guided experience to the Burny Little Penguin Colony. They've got a few different names, um, but they're all the same species. So this is um, the only resident penguin we get here in Tasmania, that, um, or in Australia is what they call it. Um, so occasionally... Knowledgeable volunteer guides 
talk to you about the penguins answer questions and help you weave and photograph without flashes deep falls and big tree this is a cascading waterfall over cubic basalt formed rock on the deep river with well maintained stairs and weaving platform the upper lookout is wheelchair accessible also be sure to try 1 km further down the road to the big tree walk Don River Railway a volunteer run vintage railway and museum near Devonport Tasmania They offer a selection of steam and diesel locomotives on site for inspection and an enjoyable ride through bushland in vintage carriages Emu Valley Rhododendron Garden. This is a 11 hectare garden offering rhododendrons and other plantings, plus water features and a tea room. Absolutely beautiful hidden gem in northern Tasmania. Very well maintained and organised into different sections of countries. Guide Falls. This waterfall was very easy to access from top as well as its bottom, with an easy 10-minute walk to the base of the waterfall. The viewing platform from the top gives a bird-eye view of the waterfall. Gunsplain Cave and Glowworms. Gunsplain Cave is a limestone shore cave near Gunsplain in the northwest of Tasmania. It offers guided cave tours to a limestone cave which has permanent stream running the length of the cave. This is a good place to see glowworms. It flows and leaves a bit more down there. You can see where it's gone. But the rest of this gets its water and mineral from up here from these straws. And they're so short because of the speed when it comes out. These are coming out too quickly to leave anything behind. These are too slow. House of Anvers is chocolate lovers heaven. A selection of tasters are available to tempt you in tasting center and shop. They also offer weaving windows so you can see the factory in action. The cafe specializes in chocolate. Belgian style breakfast and lunch. Levan Canyon is a tourist destination on the river Levan with amazing views. The walking track can be a bit challenging if you take the stairs but well worth the effort when you reach the top. Low head penguins. This is the best penguin tour we had in Tasmania. We could see many penguins up and close. Tour guides will make sure you get good photos and also penguins are not disturbed. Sure. 
these guided tours operate every day of the year but warmer months november to february are the best time to see more penguins Platypus House. Platypus House is the only place in the world where you can see platypus up and close. Watch both live platypuses and echidnas in daylight and undercover. You are only allowed to see them in limited guided tours, but the tours are informative and you can watch them get fed. Penguin Town Penguin is an attractive seaside town on northwest coast of Tasmania. This is one of the best spots to see penguins on nightly tours from September to March. Raspberry Cafe This is a great family friendly cafe, a 30 minute drive from Devonport towards Launceston. It is a cafe with a lake view deck with seasonal dishes, often with a raspberry twist. They have indoor and outdoor seating and have a fireplace that is great during winter. Relinquer is a unique family-owned gift store in northwest of Tasmania. Behind each door, you will find a secret spot, a hungry life-sized dinosaur, a magical Christmas wonderland, or fall down a rabbit hole. You can spend more than an hour browsing the shop. The interior is packed from roof to floor with every type of gift or gadget you could think of. Rocky Cape National Park The scenery was excellent in this national park and the coastline rugged and beautiful. We drove to the lighthouse and a nearby beach for beautiful views of the sun on the rock formations. Very quiet park. The North Cave is not accessible anymore but the park itself offers stunning views of the coastline. Seahorse World Seahorse World provides visitors with an opportunity to experience the secret life of seahorses from pregnant males through birth up to the adulthood. They are the largest breeder of seahorses in the world. At the very end, there is a hands-on experience which is very rewarding. Tasmania Abortum is a botanical tree park near Devonport with beautiful parklands and trees to wander. This was our first platypus sightseeing within minutes of searching around the water in the wild. Tasmasia and the village of Lower Catport. Tasmasia includes eight 
outdoor garden mazes and one fifth scale model village, embassy gardens and self service cafeteria, gift shop, a lavender farm, and ever present views of majestic Mount Roland. It's a good place to visit with kids and the world largest maze complex. The nut. The nut is all that remains of an ancient volcanic plug. It offers you the chance to either walk up to the top or you can catch the chairlift to the top. When you get to the top, there is an easy 2 km walk around the cliff top, so you can get to see all sides of Stanley and spectacular views across Bass Strait beaches. Trauna Wildlife Century That kind of makes working with them a bit easier as well in some ways. Whereas a spotty can seem really dry. So dingoes arrived about 5,000 years ago. A wildlife conservation uh, centre with Saturday daily day. tours, feeding wombats, devils, forest kangaroos and an array of birds. It is a well presented place for visitors and worth getting a feedback to keep all kangaroos happy as you move around the sanctuary. Trouta Arc. About 40 minute drive from Stanley is an amazing natural phenomenon in the rainforest. To get there it takes you through the rainforest surrounded by fungi and fern. Gordon River Cruise. Gordon River Cruise is an award-winning wilderness experience in Tasmanian Wilderness World Heritage. They offer half-day tours including guided walk around islands, high-class meals and pass by fish farms. The tickets are a bit of expensive side but it is all worth the experience you get. Hogarth Falls, a short easy walk in well formed picturesque rainforest track to the falls. It is a suitable track for all ages. Hostel Falls. This waterfall was not on our list to visit on the west coast, but the walk away caught our eye as we drove past the Iron Blow Lookout. It has a walk away to the side of the hill with spectacular views along the way. There are many steps to the VV platform and you cannot go very close to the waterfall. Iron Blow Lookout the Iron Blow Lookout gives you a bird eye view of the open cut mine with the stains of mineral deposits streak in the pit's walls. This is one of those rare, unique tourist attractions you just can't afford to miss if you're passing by. It was definitely worth a stop located just outside Queenstown. Lake McIntosh, a short scenic drive from Tula takes you to the large expansion of water of a 17.5 km long reservoir. Lake Mimsol is a trout only fishery located near the heart of Rugged West Coast. This has limited parking area and place for camping. Montezuma Falls 
This is the longest walk we have done to visit a waterfall in Tasmania. It is over 8 km track, takes about 3 hours to return but easy gradient and suitable for all ages. The track goes to the base of the falls but can be muddy and slippery so I recommend proper hiking and waterproof boots for your walk. There's a swing bridge that gives a better view of the falls, but it was closed during our visit. Nelson Falls Nelson Falls is a breathtaking waterfall and a must-do in the west coast Tasmania. The walk is very well maintained and has easy access for kids and elderly. Once at the waterfall, you will be mesmerized by its beauty. Queenstown City Queenstown is a beautiful country town in West Coast region. There are historic buildings, local cafes, a few motels and is home to many tourist attractions. Spray Tunnel Spray Tunnel at Zihan is a 100 meter long, abundant railway tunnel that was part of silver mining operations. If you wait for your eyes to adjust, you might see a lot of glow worms inside the tunnel. West Coast Wilderness Railway This is an experience not to be missed. The West Coast Wilderness Railway has something to offer for everyone. With a range of full day and half day train ride experiences and year around departures, they offer multiple carriage options, including meals, multiple stops for bushwalking, and an opportunity to pan for gold. The Red Bridge, Campbelltown. The Red Bridge is worth the stop on its own, located in another historic town rich in convict history. The red bricks used in the structure gives its name, the Red Bridge. It is nicely maintained with a few scenic walks and a camper van park. Callington Mill is a tower mill built in 1837 in Ortlands. This is currently closed, but you can still walk around and view the mill and surroundings. The Gordon Dam, also known as the Gordon River Dam, is a major gated double curvature concrete arc dam with a controlled slipway across the Gordon River, located in southwest of Tasmania. The entry is free to visit the dam. And also there are some groups that conduct abseiling from the top of the Gordon Dam. Horseshoe Falls Horseshoe Falls is another cascade waterfall in the same track as Russell Falls. It is a short 10 minute walk from Russell Falls. The walking track is well maintained and has information signs along the way. Russell Falls Russell Falls in Mountfield National Park is possibly the prettiest waterfall in Tasmania. It is the most photographed waterfall and also easily accessible. These falls consist of two main drops with a vertical appear. Lake Pedder, a large platform with fabulous view over Lake Pedder on the way to Gordon River Dam. Lake St. Clair is a natural freshwater lake located in Central Highlands area of Tasmania. It is one end of Overland Track and has a visitor centre, a lodge and a cafe near Lookout.
rail track riders. Just over an hour west of Hobart, the rail track riders provide visitors with exclusive access into a track of Tasmanian rainforest by a historic rail line with pedal powered train cars. It is the only tourist product of its type currently operating in Australia. Seven Ponds Heritage Hatchery, a cafe and garden near New Norfolk. Great little place to stop for a meal and a family day lookout. The garden is well cared for and beautiful. You can feed fish in the ponds. The restaurant on site is a bit busy so you might have to book a table in advance if you go for lunch. Tall Tree Walk This 30 minute 1 km loop walk is all about tallest flowering plants in the world. The tall swamp gums of Mountfield National Park are among the tallest trees in Australia. This walk allows plenty of opportunity to appreciate them. The wall. This is a wall full of wood carvings of a single artist. The sculpture tells a story about Aboriginal, how wildlife is threatened due to human activity and a great pictorial story of our history. Unfortunately, no photos are allowed inside. However, a quick Google search will give you some example of what it looks like prior your entry. Westaway Raspberry Farm. This is a pick-your-own berry farm with a small gift shop and a cafe attached. You can enjoy the experience of picking your own berries or you can buy in the store, which usually has a great selection of different freshly picked berries and also sells cheese, tea, coffee, ice cream and cold drinks. Cradle Mountains Cradle Mountain is a place for all seasons. It is one of Tasmania's most visited natural attractions. While there is no actual town at Cradle Mountain, visitors can find a range of accommodation within the park in cabins and campgrounds. The park offers a world-class system of walking tracks and home to a range of attractions. There's no vehicular access into the park, rather you will need to catch a shuttle service in. Cradle Lake Circuit Cradle Lake Circuit Walk is a 7 km 2.5 hour hike in Cradle Mountains National Park. A walk suits all age groups. For company, there is a cascading river, a wombat burrows and magical old growth rainforest. You can visit popular boat shed built in 1940s which remains unaltered from its original form. Dove Lake Dove Lake is a highlight in Cradle Mountains National Park. Dove Lake Walk is a 6 km loop walk. The first part of journey to the Dove Lake start at Cradle Mountain Visitor Center and Transit Terminal. A shuttle bus service takes walkers to the Dove Lake car park. From there, you can take the loop walk or enjoy the scenery. Nivet Falls and Pencil Pine Falls. During our visit to Cradle Mountains National Park, we noticed these two falls on the maps that were very close to the car park and visitor information center. It is a 30 minute short walk along the enchanted walk to see both falls. The entire track is a boat walk. Mall Creek Cave Tours Guided tours draw visitors to these limestone caves with underground creeks and colorful stagmites. Summer or winter, the climate never changes inside the Mall Creek Cave, so it's a perfect place to visit year-round. You can choose from different Mall Creek Cave Tours. Marakuba Cave this highly decorated cave features two different tours, both including glowworm tours.
King Solomon's cave tour. This is a compact cave tour with lavish colors and formations and sparkling calcite decorating the chambers, suitable for all ages and levels of fitness. For all Mall Creek Cave Tours, you need to book tours in advance as only a limited number of people are allowed inside caves. There is one more thing I would like to add to this list that we were not able to visit, that is Table Cape Tulip Farm. Table Cape Tulip Farm is the hottest destination to see tulips in Tasmania every October. This is a top place to see if you visit Tasmania during spring season. I am so glad that I could list all the things that are well worth visiting in Tasmania. It took us a few months to cover all these places. So if you are planning a few weeks trip, you will not be able to cover everything but still this list will give you a good set of options you can do during your visit to Tasmania. I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next video, enjoy and stay safe.